dark matter. It's the most mysterious substance in the universe. Little is known about it. Scientists are pretty sure it exists, but still don't know what it is. Astronomers have captured some of the most detailed images ever seen of the galaxies in deep space. For thousands of years, our species has looked up at the night sky, wondering if there is anything else out there. We have discovered over a thousand planets orbiting other stars, 100 billion stars in our galaxy, hundreds of billions of galaxies beyond our own, and even the faint radiation that is the Big Bang's echo. However, matter as we know it, atoms, stars, planets, trees, rocks, and us, make up less than 5% of the known universe. The rest remains somewhat of a mystery, a dark one. Astronomers and cosmologists believe that dark matter accounts for approximately 25% of our universe, with dark energy accounting for the remaining 70%. Because dark matter does not interact with light, we cannot see it. We only know there is something out there beyond what we can see because it interacts with gravity. And now, scientists have discovered a galaxy that is almost entirely made up of dark matter. What impact does this discovery have on our understanding of dark matter and the universe? Stay tuned until the end to find out. Here on Earth, gravity keeps us from flying out of our chairs, and gravity from the Sun keeps our planets orbiting on a 365-day cycle. However, the farther a spacecraft travels from the Sun, the less it feels the Sun's gravity, and the more it feels the gravity of matter from the rest of the galaxy, which is mostly dark matter. When compared to estimates of the Milky Way's dark matter content, the mass of our galaxy's 100 billion stars is insignificant. Essentially, the gravity exerted by the visible mass of galaxies and clusters is insignificant to hold everything together. Some additional mass must be present to create the extra gravity required. Stars would most likely be dispersed throughout the universe if dark matter did not exist. We would not exist if galaxies including our Milky Way did not exist. Our current knowledge of dark matter is the result of the efforts of many astronomers. In 1933, astronomer Fritz Zwicky discovered that galaxies within the Coma Cluster were moving faster than expected, causing them to leave the cluster rather than being held in by its gravitational pull. Years later, Australian astronomer Ken Freeman noticed that gas was moving at the same speed around galaxies at increasing distances, despite the fact that there was little material at these great distances. Vera Rubin observed the same phenomenon with stars on the outskirts of many galaxies. These findings indicated that the gravitational fields in the galaxies were larger than expected based on their visible mass. The large gravitational pull they were exerting could only be explained by the presence of some sort of extra mass. The best guess for where this mass comes from is that it is some strange exotic particle known as dark matter. Nobody knows much about this particle, except that it's something we've never seen before on Earth. It doesn't interact with light, hence the name dark matter, which means that it's neutral with no electrical charge. It's also slow moving and concentrated in galaxies and clusters rather than being evenly distributed throughout space. Even though we don't know what it is or how to see it, we do know that dark matter is important. Astronomers, on the other hand, have recently discovered a galaxy with very little or no stellar mass. These types of galaxies are known as dark galaxies. It has clouds of gas, but very few, if any, stars. This is the only isolated dark dwarf galaxy in the local universe. As previously stated, all galaxies are primarily composed of dark matter. Visible matter, such as stars, gas and dust, accounts for only a small portion of a galaxy's mass. However, galaxies like this one, named Fast J0139 plus 4328, are even more extreme, and its low luminosity suggests that there are no stars, only clouds of gas. According to the astronomers who discovered it, the galaxy has no optical counterpart. Astronomers used the 500-meter Aperture Spherical Radio Telescope, FAST, the Panoramic Survey Telescope and the Rapid Response System, PAN-STARS, to discover the new galaxy. It's a newly discovered galaxy that appears to be a typical disk galaxy in most ways. However, it has a very low magnitude and stellar mass. These findings provide observational evidence that FAST J0139 plus 4328 is an isolated dark dwarf galaxy with a redshift of Z equals 0.0083, the researchers conclude. According to the researchers, this is the first time an isolated dark galaxy has been discovered in the nearby universe. 
A redshift of Z equals 0.0083 indicates that the galaxy is located between 1 million and 1.25 million light years away. It's an isolated HI cloud, which means it's made up of neutral hydrogen rather than ionized or molecular hydrogen. Because of its shape and rotational structure, the researchers believe it is a disk galaxy. The relationship between dark matter and galaxies is explained by modern cosmological theory. According to theory, dark matter halos contain galaxies, as if the dark matter provides the structure for the formation of the galaxy. The halo envelops the entire galactic disk and extends beyond the visible galaxy's edge. Astronomers cannot see dark matter, but they can infer its existence from its effects on objects in its vicinity. According to our current models, halos play an important role in galaxy formation and evolution. Dark galaxies like this one are out of the ordinary. Astronomers believe that their gas did not form stars. That is why astronomers believe they are crucial to understanding how galaxies form and evolve. Furthermore, because gas-rich dark galaxies may reflect the earliest stage of galaxy formation, the discovery of dark galaxies is critical to understanding galaxy formation. This dark dwarf galaxy and others like it may also aid in the resolution of a cosmological problem. According to the Cold Dark Matter CDM model, there should be more dwarf galaxies than astronomers have been able to observe. The problem is known as the missing satellite problem or the dwarf galaxy problem. According to observations, the Milky Way has 11 dwarf galaxies and the local group has about 38. However, dark matter simulations indicate that there should be approximately 500 dwarf galaxies as satellites of the Milky Way alone. Dark dwarf galaxies like this one could fill that void and improve our understanding of dark matter and the universe as a whole. While dark dwarf galaxies like this one are certainly out of the ordinary, they are not the only ones. Astronomers have also discovered galaxies with little or no dark matter, though this discovery is still controversial. Let us now turn our attention to black holes, where a new discovery has been made that connects them to dark energy. Gravity, according to the laws of physics, should cause the universe to contract, but a mysterious force known as dark energy appears to be counteracting this and causing the universe to expand at an accelerating rate. One possible explanation is that this dark energy is generated by black holes, but there hasn't been enough experimental evidence to support this theory conclusively. However, observations of ancient, dormant galaxies with black holes at their centres suggest that massive black holes may be the source of dark energy and the universe's accelerating expansion. Chris Pearson and his colleagues at the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory in Harwell, UK, compared two groups of galaxies with black holes at their centres, a young distant group and a closer older group that has stopped growing. They calculated the rate of growth of galaxies and discovered that they increased in mass by 7 to 20 times, which cannot be explained by regular mergers or stellar material absorption. Instead, Pearson and his colleagues proposed that the growth is due to the universe's accelerating expansion. We can actually explain the observations when we model that into what we see, Pearson said. We can see that, in addition to these astrophysical processes for black hole growth, we can explain away this discrepancy in the mass growth by adding in the fact that they may contain dark energy and they're coupled to the expansion of the universe. The model they used was an interpretation of Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity, which states that black holes contain vacuum energy, a type of energy that exists in space everywhere due to quantum particles vanishing and reappearing. When the team crunched the numbers, they discovered that these black holes could explain the entirety of what is required to balance the universe with this dark energy. If black holes are the source of the universe's dark energy and expansion, it would solve another outstanding cosmic mystery. What happens at the center of black holes, known as singularities, where the laws of physics break down? There are no requirements for singularities in the case of black holes that contain cores of dark energy. However, it was difficult to verify this theory. Until now, these have only been theories. Researchers now have observational evidence that black holes have dark energy cores. The researchers extrapolated from the observed sample of galaxy growth to calculate how much dark energy would be produced on a universe-wide scale using estimated rates of star formation. They discovered that it could explain the universe's accelerating expansion. Despite this, it is possible that our estimates of the rate at which stars are formed are inaccurate. 
Furthermore, the researchers calculated the black hole growth rate by comparing very distant young galaxies to closer older galaxies and assuming that this is how galaxies evolve. But it is possible they don't grow like this. More galaxy observations, or looking for signatures in the cosmic microwave background CMB, a cloud of radiation produced shortly after the universe formed, could strengthen Pearson's explanation. If their theory is correct, black holes would have a discernible effect on the expansion of the universe and the CMB. More evidence could be obtained by measuring the rate at which black holes merge, which is also affected by their dark energy nature. For researchers to be able to say with absolute certainty that black holes are the origin of dark energy, they will need to collect additional observational data. Now let's hear your thoughts about dark matter and dark energy in the comments below.